Hello guys, Lewis here. Welcome back to another video. And this one is just going to be a quick video on my plans for FIFA 21, uh, a new tool, what the Realiz mod's going to look like, and a few other little bits of info here and there. Um, if you're wondering about 3.0, uh, sorry, 3.1, the next version of the Realiz mod for FIFA 20, that is coming very, very soon. The next video should be the reveal for it. And I've just released the first beta today, so that is a very good sign that it is coming very soon. So uh, if you want to see the uh, text version of this, you can just go uh, to this Patreon link that I put in the description. You don't need to be a Patreon to access it. But uh, if you want, you can just put this in the video. You can, uh, you know, play a game, do some work, do whatever. Um, and uh, you can just listen to it here. I'll also, you know, go over some other things and explain a bit more than I did in this post. So, um, I mean, the first thing is, will FIFA 21 be moddable? I know a lot of other modders have talked about this from the tools to Frosty and all that, um, but you know they have not heard my plans before this, so here are my plans. Uh, for FIFA 20 we uh, use Frosty Tool Suite, which is comprised of Frosty Editor and Frosty Mod Manager. The editor is how you, you make the mods, the mod manager is what the user does, which is, you know, they, it allows them to import the mods, apply them, and launch the game. Um, but the main creator of uh, the tool suite, Galaxy Man 2015, left to work uh, for EA slash DICE on the Frostbite engine itself, uh, which is, you know, good for him. Con uh, congratulations to him. But uh, obviously now, he's not working on it anymore, for legal reasons. Um, and no, this is not an effort by EA to stop modding. He applied for the role himself, so, you know, it's not like EA doesn't want modding to happen. Uh, now, his friends who helped him develop the tool have continued working on it, but there has only been one, one minor UI update since he left. Um, and they're certainly capable, but they're just very, very busy. And with FIFA 20 fast approaching, it looks like they might not have time to update it, or uh, not for a while at least. Um, and obviously it has to be updated for new FIFA, uh, and for any new game, because the new game, it has, you know, uh, different types of assets, the, the existing types have been updated, the SDKs are different, the type info offsets are, uh, yeah, everything's different. So um, obviously it has to be updated, and it's not easy work at all, especially if, if uh, the game has changed a lot, not in terms of its contents, like not in terms of the career mode changes, but the, the frostbite changes. Now there are other tools in the works. Uh, the first is being Aaron, uh, Aaron Actu's new live editor, which is able to replace and duplicate legacy files for FIFA 20. Um, and I think that will not be updated too long after FIFA 20 release. Um, I, I'll link uh, to a post in the description, uh, the post on his priorities. Um, let me pull that up right now. But um, basically, uh, the FIFA cheat table is the number one thing that he's going to work on. But um, uh, as he says here, when I finish updating the cheat table, I'll fully focus on improving the FIFA Live editor. Um, and uh, the... the and the career mode cheat table uh, is, should be released within a few days um, or even within 24 hours that's just with the basic one but it might take a month or two for it to be complete but I presume we'll do at least some basic work on the FIFA Live Editor uh, before it is 100% complete um, but uh, there are no but there, there are other tools Paul is also working on a tool but there are limited details about it so far but the big news is we have our own plans, and they are big, in the form of a new modding tool. Yes, a new modding tool, a uh, replacement for Frosty. So uh, for months I've been researching Frostbite and its components, the file types, the talk, the super bundle, the CAS, uh, how they work together, the structure, all that. I've been researching a lot, reaching out to people, getting quotes, getting all this. And I have a 25-page like, uh, Word document of everything. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty intense. Um, and so we've worked with an online friend of ours who, are, who is an extremely experienced programmer on a new tool that should be able to mod FIFA 20. So I will not be doing so much of the development stage, I may do a bit of the UI stuff eventually, um, but I've done the research and I will be doing a lot of the testing, um, publicity, stuff like that. And when the post was released, which is about two weeks ago, week and a half, um, the, the, uh, the programmer had done five days of work and there was great progress. You can read the two file formats FIFA uses and can extract any texture from the game as a DDS, kits, faces, etc. Um, and, uh, and a very basic uh, data explorer. You know, you can't open or import or export files directly from it yet, but I'll show you a screenshot in a second. 
Uh, so here is the picture of what it is. Now, let I'll go into a bit more of uh, what it is later. Um, and this is, it's been a bit evolved since then because he has worked on a lot more. Uh, the, the tool and the mod launcher will be 100% free and available for anyone to use after a brief testing period with uh, proper documentation built in. And since it's a FIFA-only editor, there are plans for mind-blowing features, some of which were in the old Creation Master. Because Frosty was a Frostbite editor, so we had had to support all Frostbite games or the, the, new, the newer ones and whatnot, so it couldn't have a lot of FIFA-only uh, functions because that just wouldn't work. But this, this is not for all games. This is for FIFA and FIFA only. And maybe there will be a separate one for Madden at some point or something, but this is just for FIFA. So there are plans for stuff like duplicating uh, assets or uh, creating teams or whatever. But more uh, simply, what the old cre Creation Master used to be, which is a, a much nicer UI. Uh, but obviously there would still be the Data Explorer. Now FIFA 20 will be of course different to 20. Um, we don't have confirmation of how different uh, until the game releases, obviously. We can take some hints from Madden, which is pretty different, but you never know. Last year, I think they used Anthem's uh, technology. So yeah, it, it definitely depends. Um, so modding won't be instant for sure. It could be a couple of months after the release of the game, although I think it will be less. Um, at least very basic stuff will be less. But until then, we'll hopefully have Aaron Actu's live editor, which can certainly hold its weight. Um, but yeah, it, it could be a few months. I don't think it will be. It's not going to be instant though, going to take a bit more than FIFA 20, but you know, would you rather wait another month or two and have a play like really good, fun, playable game that's a hundred times better than getting it a month early? Like, you know. So here's the picture. Um, now this is not the final uh, at all. This is like a basic UI. It's going to be more similar to Frosty's UI when it's done, but as you can see it has the basic file structure path. Um, that's not actually the latest version, I'll show you the latest version in a second. Um, so the main thing is you can find more information on fifaeditortool.com. Uh, and here is the website, pretty cool website, you have some pages, I'll get into that later. But here is the what it currently looks like. So as you can see, it generates a cache, uh, about to create the cache it can take uh, 13 minutes sometimes. Uh, for me it was about 5 because I have a really good processor, but 5 to 10 minutes, 5 to 15 minutes to create the cache, and then the cache uh, loads in 2 to 4 seconds. Uh, obviously it depends on your processor, but for me it loaded in 2 seconds. So now, uh, the difference between this and this, the biggest one is that it's uh, it has this little thing that Frosty has which shows the assets, um, which currently are not any of the EBX, only the resin chunks, only the, the assets that have uh, like content, so kits that means, uh, faces, textures, meshes, stuff like that. Obviously we can't export them yet, we can't import them yet, we can't view them yet. Well we can export textures but not through this exact program, but that is coming soon. Uh, and there was also some fixes uh, to the sorting here, so they're sorted by alphabet and the uh, capitalization is correct. But on this website it's totally free, fifaeditortool.com. Um, that all works well. Uh, the biggest thing is you can view progress. So we can see uh, all the progress from the 17th to uh, the 8th here of all the different things that have been added and whatnot. You can do that. You can learn more if you want to just learn a few things. Feature suggestions coming soon. And then contact us if you know you want to uh, help development, know something about Frostbite, whatever, whatever. You can uh, email us directly via fifaeditingtool at gmail.com or our Twitter account, go to twitter.com slash fifaeditortool. Make sure to give that a follow because we post daily progress updates. Uh, you know, we answer questions, we do votes and stuff. Um, and that, the DMs are open, I'm not signed in, but if you go here, you can DM them, say anything, and they, you'll get a response. But yeah, make sure you go follow this and also follow my account uh, fight for mods because I also post some other stuff and some general good stuff so I recommend that you also follow me there uh, fight for underscore mods but yeah uh, so that's it about the tool uh, again gonna be totally free again I'm not gonna guarantee anything right now but I it's I, I think it has a really good chance of succeeding really good chance of being a big thing and I'm gonna do everything in my power to make it uh, make it happen and make it the best it can be so then about the mods uh, the actual mods, what you probably came here for, um, and how they're going to work and what's the priority. So the Realist mod is the first priority, 100%. Uh, from when a modding tool is released, I should be able to get a 1.0 out with just the core Realism mod. So that's the realistic graphics, uh, 
So that's the realistic player values, transfers, board objectives, uh, player growth, stuff like that. Um, and some basic graphics like real kits and logos and names for uh, Roma and Juventus and other unlicensed teams. Maybe some banners too, um, within three days. Um, and over time I'll add more and more and hopefully within three months I can put together something uh, similar to 3.0 of FIFA 20. In fact, it will only be better because I'll be redesigning a lot of it and fixing some of the mistakes I made. Um, so yeah, uh, so you might be wondering, what about faces? Well, it depends if we can import them and when we can import them. Hopefully, because uh, they are meshes and they are tricky. But uh, I don't think it will be in the 1.0, but maybe the 1.1 it will have some faces. Keep adding, keep adding. But faces are definitely a big priority. Um, and then uh, everything else will just be added over time. And yeah, hopefully within three months I can get a big 3.0 out uh, with what it is today. And then the 2006-2007 mod. Uh, if you didn't know, this mod was originally planned for FIFA 20, uh, which would replicate the 2006-2007 season in career mode with all the players, kits, faces, teams, rules, etc. So Fernando Torres, Frank Lampard, etc., etc. Um, sadly, because of the amount the uh, amount of time the Reloads mod has taken, I've pushed this back into FIFA 21. Pretty much everything can be ported over, so it's not much of a pain. I'll probably start working on it three to four months after the game is moddable. And then other mods, I plan on creating various other mods throughout the year because I'll have more time, such as crazy mods like huge nets, tiny pitches, free roam, etc. As well as more practical mods that add new leagues, teams, players, etc. Uh, et I'll reveal more information on that topic as I, uh, as I get it. And what are my plans for the rest of FIFA 21? Well, I'm working hard on 3.1, which is, I mean, it really is a huge version. I could call it 4.0 if I wanted. Uh, there is basically two giant features, um, but you can almost say 52 uh, giant features. Um, you'll uh, understand what that means later. Uh, anyways, that should be released very soon. Uh, again, I released the first beta today, or well, last night, um, which is a very good sign that it's coming along well. Uh, it's basically almost done. A lot of it is now just fixing bugs and exporting everything. Um, and then uh, I'll probably take a bit with uh, take a little bit of break with school starting, preparing for uh, FIFA 21. But I think there is a good chance there will be a 3.2, just with some basic bug fixes, maybe a, a few faces or two. But I'm not going to guarantee that. Um, so again, I'll leave you with this. I'm going to do everything in my power to make FIFA 21 moddable. Um, and if that means investing everything I made from Patreon. And so be it. Yeah, so that's basically going to be it for this video. Again, make sure you check out FIFAEditorTool.com. Uh, make sure you check out the official Twitter account at FIFA uh, Editor Tool. Go follow all that. Links are in the description of all. As always, of course, make sure you join the official Realist Mod Discord server. Um, and yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.